Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Clue. We're going to go ahead and choose a different theme this time. I know some of you had asked for a couple of different ones. I think some of you said Wild West, some of you said Vampire Castle, some of you said Hollywood Studio. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Wild West because that's one of the newer ones. So, I guess we'll go ahead and choose... Okay, so interesting. I like the costumes. Mr. Green's got the old blacksmith thing going. Got the sheriff Colonel Mustard here. I don't, I kind of like Peacock's outfit. Rose, okay, and Professor Plum. So, as usual, I'll stick with the nerd, I guess. Start game. Oh, let me go ahead and get rid of these. There we go. I want to add these guys. That was from a previous theme. It just crossing the streams like that doesn't seem right. Well, howdy, partner. We're entering Silvertown. Population was it 146? Is that what it said? Okay. One suspect, one weapon, one room going into the mystery envelope, and everyone getting three cards. So I got the Jail, the Six Shooter, and myself. So, as usual, I am not the guilty party. Alright. Um, I guess we'll head on over to the saloon. I love those corners. Okay, well, let's just go... Uh, at this point, it's kind of difficult to tell who has what. So, I'll just pick stuff at random. Horseshoe... A horseshoe is a weapon? I guess. They are pretty heavy. Alright, so unfortunately Peacock already has Scarlet. I was hoping to skip a few players and, and see what they don't have, but... Ooh, a two! That burns. No, no rooms there. Okay, so who's next? We've got Share of Mustard. Rolling a five. Going to the graveyard. Mustard. Horseshoe. Whoa! That was a lot of skipping going on there. So, the horseshoe... is It's a strong possibility, and so is Mustard at this point. And so is the graveyard. So, Peacock showed one of those cards, however. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mark a one here. Peacock also showed the, possibly showed the horseshoe, and possibly showed the graveyard. Alright, moving on. Five. Is that enough to get into a room? The blacksmith barely. Peacock. Horseshoe. That horseshoe is very popular. Alright, so Scarlet showed one of these. Possibly Peacock. We'll put a one there. Possibly the Horseshoe, but it's not the Horseshoe because she already passed on that on a previous turn. So that wasn't it. Blacksmith. Possibly. So she either showed Peacock or Blacksmith. One of the two. If we can eliminate one, then we'll know what the other one was. Alright, two. Again, a really bad roll. The dice just aren't with these AI players. Now watch me roll it. And it doesn't matter because I'm in a corner. Scarlet rolls a nine. Go into the graveyard. Scarlet. Well, we know that Peacock has Scarlet, so it's not going to be... Yeah. So, again, Scarlet showed either Scarlet. Or Peacock showed either Scarlet. Uh, either the Whip. I'll just put a two here or graveyard, but we know that she has Scarlet already, so it's possible that she might have both Scarlet and the graveyard, maybe even the whip. We just don't know yet. All right, if we get a bad roll, we'll take a corner. If not, then we'll just move somewhere else. Oh, that's definitely corner time, I think. Go into the courthouse. Yeah, those corner spaces, those corner rooms 
really helpful in cases like that where apparently snake eyes is very common in the Wild West. All right, so we know that Peacock has Scarlet, and me doing that now, is, that's, I mean, that's just a terrible idea. So maybe we'll go, now Peacock might have shown, or Scarlet might have shown Peacock. So we'll go ahead and we'll accuse Peacock. Um, and I'd love to see if anyone has the horseshoe at this point. It's either Peacock or Mustard. But someone else may reveal a card. <gasps> the horseshoe! Alright, so someone showed me the courthouse. That was Rose. So right out of the gate, we know that... Again, let's just make sure. Yeah, it's the horseshoe, alright. We found the weapon in the first couple of turns. It's actually pretty good. The downside is, did the computers... Were they smart enough to figure it out, too? Alright, so Mustard showed either Plum, which is not the case, because I have Plum. The Horseshoe, which we know is not the case, because it's the murder weapon, or the Saloon. In this case, that's the only remaining one, so we definitely know that Mustard has the Saloon. Man, those, those terrible rolls. I... Alright, Scarlet. We know that Peacock has Scarlet. Knife. Alright, so Scarlet showed either... It wasn't Scarlet, because Scarlet's... She passed on that before. Scarlet either showed the knife, which is a possibility. We'll put a two here. Or the saloon. Ah, oh, you know what? She passed on the saloon in a previous turn. And Mustard already has it. So that leads us to believe, let's just X that out, and then put a check mark here. That means it has to be the knife. So we're actually eliminating things pretty quickly here. Now you're probably wondering, well, why am I even bothering with the weapons at this point? I already know it's the horseshoe. Well, if we can figure out what everyone has in terms of cards, we might be able to eliminate other suspects or rooms based on their passing and what they possibly show in other players. Peacock um, showed either Rose. It's possible. Uh, we'll do a three here. And possibly the whip. It's the second time now. And Main Street. Okay. We only know one of Peacock's cards, so it could be anything. Rolling a three. Ooh, a lot of passing going on. All right, so Mustard showed either green, the horseshoe, which is the murder weapon, that's not it, or Main Street. Okay, so it looks like uh, Peacock passed on Main Street at some point. So... That leads me to believe that she showed either the whip or the ro or the rose card on that third turn, on that third reveal. But we know that the... Well, yeah, she might have the whip. Alright, go into the bank. Green? Horseshoe? Well, it's either green or bank. Mustard showed either green, which is, again, another... It's twice now that that's come up, and the bank. So we'll mark that with a two. It's possible that he has green or the bank. I mean, he's only revealed... I only know of one card that he has so far. Right now, we're still a little in the dark as to what everyone has. We don't even know any of the cards that green has at this point. Roll dice. All right, partner. Got an eight. Maybe we'll head on over to the bank. Although, here's the thing. If Mustard has the bank, we're not going to pass too many people doing that. Because he'll, if he has the bank, he'll reveal it. And I don't get a whole lot of information from anyone else. Green or um, Rose or Scarlet. So maybe not the bank. 
graveyard. Uh, well, here's the thing. Peacock possibly showed the graveyard twice. So, again, if I pick graveyard and she reveals that, I'm not going to find out any information about any anyone else. So I think passing on the graveyard and the bank is a thing, even though we rolled pretty high. We'll go to the courthouse. We know that uh, Rose has the courthouse. So at the very least, we'll get three pieces of information from Peacock, uh, Mustard, and Green, assuming that they don't reveal something else. So we'll head down to the courtyard. Or the courthouse, rather. And we want to pick stuff that there's a strong possibility that uh, Peacock or Mustard may not have. So, Peacock's revealed Mustard, and Rose has possibly revealed, no, Mustard possibly revealed Pe, no, I have that backwards. Peacock possibly revealed Mustard or Rose, okay. So, not Mustard or Rose, but those are the only ones left that we, well, we could do Peacock. We know just to pass on them, because they've passed on that, Rose has passed on that. Oh, no, he... Ha okay, well... No. Peacock... Peacock passed on Peacock. Mustard passed on Peacock. Green passed on... Okay, so if we choose Peacock, then that leaves finding out information about the murder weapon. But we already know that the murder weapon is a horseshoe. Hmm... So what's going to happen is, if I choose Peacock, it's going to go all the way down to possibly Scarlet. Or, yeah, Scarlet. But however, we already know that uh, we're in the courthouse. So we know that before that even happens, before Scarlet would re possibly reveal Peacock, um, we know that Rose is going to reveal the courthouse. So that just leaves the murder weapon. We know what the murder weapon is. Um... So, if I choose a weapon that, like, say, the horseshoe, then uh, Rose is going to reveal the courthouse, which we know already. So, I don't want to do that. I'd rather pick a weapon that we have no information on. And possibly, if I choose, say, the whip, and Peacock reveals the whip, I'll find out two of her three cards and possibly eliminate some of the other ones. Or I could just try and chance it and go for something completely off the wall like the gold nugget, which we have no information on whatsoever. So let's just do that. Who has the gold nugget? Oh, Rose showed me the courthouse. Well, we already knew that. But now we know that Peacock, Mustard, and Green do not have the gold nugget, which, you know, it's not great information, honestly. But I was hoping to, you know... Maybe in the future, if someone guesses Gold Nugget, we can eliminate some other cards. Because we know that they don't have it anymore. Peacock. Horseshoe. Whoa. Okay, so Scarlet revealed either Peacock, which would have been for the second time now. The Horseshoe, which is not the case, because that's the murder weapon. Or the Blacksmith, which this is also for the second time. So it really could go either way with that. This is one of those games where, like, you could just roll dice, go around, and just start asking questions and checking things off. Or you can pay attention to what other people were doing and get I actually get more information off of other players' turns that I do on my own. Peacock and Whip. Alright, so Rose showed not Peacock. Um, not the Whip. Because she passed on that previously. So that means she had to show him the bank. So now we know two out of three of Rose's cards. Big ol' five. Plum, that's me. Gold nugget. Well, Rose probably showed the bank with that one. I mean, I've got Plum, that's not it. A gold nugget, she possibly has that. We'll just put a one here and a one. Because we know this this guess went with this. So it's it's possible she has the gold nugget. Possibly she doesn't. Again, 
I know that we already know what the horseshoe is the murder weapon, but again, if we can figure out what everyone else has, we can do quicker eliminating on the suspects and the rooms and figure out what the actual correct answers are. All right, so I got to reveal my six shooter, unfortunately. I think it's the first time I've actually revealed anything. Oh, the blacksmith is... Oh, look at this. You see this now? You see what I see? Before we even move on... Well, let's see what this does first, and then we'll... Because now we know some information. All right, let's... let's Before we actually record this answer, let's take a look at what I noticed. Scarlet passed on the blacksmith, and there was a 1 and a 2 here. That means that she's been showing the Peacock card all of this time. So now we know that she has the Peacock card. Alright. So now moving on to this answer. We have Rose who possibly revealed Mustard, which she passed on. But Oh, look! Everyone's passed on Mustard! Interesting. Well, that's it there. And then the General Store. So because everyone passed on Mustard either this time or prior, and the horseshoe is already the murder weapon. That means she has to have the general store. This means that we now know all three of her cards, so we can X all of these out. Meaning that she didn't have the gold nugget, which I suspected as much. She doesn't have green, and she doesn't... That's it. Okay. But we already know. Okay. So now we just have to figure out the room. It's a, There's a strong possibility that Peacock has the graveyard. The blacksmith... It's very possible that Peacock has it. We don't know. But it's looking more like the blacksmith is the place to get... I mean, there's a strong possibility. Only one other player may have it. So if we can eliminate the blacksmith from Peacock, we'll know exactly whether or not we've got our answer. Now, I have to roll. Can I, I can't get to the blacksmith, and that's what stinks. So, where am I going? If I go to the bank, um, then Rose will reveal that on her turn, or on, on that pass. If I go to the general store... The general store is X'd out. We know that Rose has it. Main Street. Um, there's a possibility that Mustard has it. We'll go to Main Street. That's one thing I do have to X out here at some point. Mustard possibly has it. Possibly revealed it in a previous turn. Um, just to keep... I don't know if the AI actually pays attention to my guesses, but I do not want to guess Mustard and Horseshoe repeatedly and get them to go oh well i guess the human knows something that we don't so it must be mustard in the horseshoe so i'm gonna bluff a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and choose uh peacock because we know that scarlet has peacock and it's four or five players down the line and then same thing with the knife we know that she has the knife as well so i'm really only interested in main street that's all i'm interested in Mustard, okay, so it, it he does indeed have this, I betcha. Yeah, okay. So now we know two out of his three cards. We also eliminated one of the four rooms. Now there's only three possible rooms that it could be in. Got an eight. Someone's going to the bank, making a withdrawal pilgrim. Mustard. Well, someone's on the right track with Mustard, but not the Six Shooter. Rose revealed something. What did she reveal? Probably the bank. Yeah, it has to be. But yeah, there's no... Yeah. There's, there's nothing else that it could possibly be. She's got the general store in the courthouse. And the bank. She has three room cards. Oh, that's a terrible roll. Well, fine for me. General store. Well, we already know the general store is owned by Rose. It's going to be a very short pass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just... 
That that gave me no information. Someone's going to the sheriffs. Peacock, well, we know that Scarlet's gonna reveal that. Yeah, that was, again, a waste. I mean, it's possible that she showed the gold nugget. I'm gonna put a three here. And it's possible that she showed the sheriff office, but I bet you she showed Peacock. That was a terrible turn for me. I mean, all things considered. Main Street. We already know that Mustard has that. Plum Whip. So I have to show Plum. It, it, there's no... No way around that. Okay, so... I'd like to go to the graveyard of the sheriff, sheriff's office, but I don't think I can make it... Uh... The blacksmith, absolutely the blacksmith. And you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to throw people off with my whole peacock knife bit. And all I'm really checking to see is if peacock has the blacksmith. That's all I'm checking. She passed on the blacksmith. So we have our answer and we are ready to make our accusation. Um, it was mustard with the horseshoe in the blacksmith. Did you get it right? Da da da. Da da da. Da da. That went pretty well. We got some great clues that time around. Five turns. That's not too bad. New best score. All right, folks. So let me know in the comments below what theme you'd like to see next. Uh, we've done the Murder Express. We've done the Wild West. We've done Classic and Two to Our Mansion. We just need to do Hollywood Studio vampire castle and snowy peaks all right if you guys haven't already subscribe to my channel and check out my official website www.dadsgamingaddiction.com this is vince thanks for watching and i'll catch you next